It's Irving Berlin versus Cole Porter, The Wild West versus Shakespeare. Which show would win a head-to-head -head match? Andy Get Your Gun or Kiss Me Kate? Shalom, it's David Benkoff, the Broadway Maven. In Broadway title match, I pit shows against each other in five categories. Best story, best song, best character, best rhyme, and best earworm. Whichever show scores three or more rounds wins. Who do you predict will win the matchup? The Wild West Romance or the onstage, offstage feud of two divorced actors? Let's start with the stories. Any Get Your Gun is about the discovery of a remarkable young sharpshooter and her off and on romance with an established Wild West star. The romance is interesting, but several subplots are not. A love affair between a half-Indian boy and a white girl, and the possible merger of two Wild West shows. See Annie Get Your Gun for the songs and even the dialogue, but the story? Not so much. Kiss Me Kate wins this category hands down. It is a tightly integrated book musical with elements of romance, jealousy, intrigue, suspense, and humor. Two divorced actors find themselves recreating their personal conflicts on stage, playing the principal roles in Taming of the Shrew, a Shakespearean play about male-female conflict that gives the show songs like I Hate Men. Score one for Kate. Now, best song. In both cases, the hilarious 11 o'clock numbers stand out but Annie Get Your Gun stands out slightly more. Kiss Me Kate ends with a punny, tongue-in-cheek performance by two made men, deadpanning the song Brush Up Your Shakespeare, containing wordplay like, if she says your behavior is heinous, kick her right in the Coriolanus. It's a lot of fun. But anything you can do, I can do better, which closes the Irving Berlin show, is probably the best executed conflict song in the Broadway canon. The gun-toting Annie Oakley and Frank Butler work out their mutual distaste and attraction by showing off their skills well beyond the shooting range. Who can sing highest? Who can sing softest? The answer is usually Annie, but she clinches her victory with the show-stopping I can hold any note longer than you. Visit YouTube to see some of these contests. The prolonged singing by actresses playing Annie Oakley causes eruptions of applause time and again. That real crowd pleaser gets best song. As for best character, we have a battle between the protagonists. Annie Oakley is a talented shot who grows up in the woods without exposure to the wider world. Watching her adjust is part of the fun of the show. But Fred Graham slash Petruchio in Kiss Me Kate is a sly, arrogant, sardonic, and passionate cad. Whether he's seducing his ex-wife or taming her, he's the most amusing part of the cast, and he beats Annie Oakley, too. So best character goes to Kiss Me Kate. Now, best rhyme. Kiss Me Kate's songs like Brush Up Your Shakespeare, Bianca, and especially Where Is The Life That Late I Led, are so filled with playful rhymes that it's hard to pick. But let's go with this two-in-one rhyming Q&A from the latter song. Where is Fedora, the wild virago? It's lucky I missed her gangster sister from Chicago. Still, the winning rhyme is from Annie Get Your Gun, and it's subtle, but literally delicious. During the Anything You Can Do number that I just awarded best song to, Annie reacts to Frank's boasting that I can do most anything. Can you bake a pie? No, neither can I. It's a funny, dialogue -y rhyme that hums. So we're at two and two. For the tiebreaker, let's go to best earworm. Now, I really like Annie Get Your Guns' song, Doing What Comes Naturally about people in the backwoods living full lives through common sense and raw sensuality. Folks are dumb where I come from, they ain't had any learning. Still we're happy as can be, doing what comes naturally. 
But for me, it's a small song in Kiss Me Kate that takes the honors. Its simple chorus is sung four times with minor changes repeated to the point of exhaustion and hilarity. I can't stop humming it when I leave the theater. Listen. We open in Venice. We next play Verona. Then on to Cremona. Lots of blank in Cremona. Our next stop is Parma. That's something, something menace. Then Mantua, then Padua. Then we open again in Venice. So Annie Get Your Gun, a fun musical filled with well-constructed beloved songs like There's No Business Like Show Business and I Got the Sun in the Morning comes in a close second. But the classic Cole Porterfest, Kiss Me Kate, is the winner. Which show are you most interested in seeing or seeing again? Explain your answer in the comments below and we'll respond. Next time, Guys and Dolls? or My Fair Lady? The Broadway Maven meets every Monday for a free class on musical theater. On Wednesdays and Thursdays, I also teach greatest hits classes about topics related to Broadway or Jewish culture or both for a nominal tuition of $2 per class. Keep track of my upcoming classes at bit.ly.com slash classes and please hit the button to subscribe.